Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and this is another Game Maker tutorial. I am super excited for this one because you're going to build a full game. We're actually going to build a Flappy Bird parody game called Floppy Cats, or Floppy Cat. And uh, you can use your own sprites, but I've also provided all the resources that you will need. Um, animations and backgrounds and stuff like that. So I'm going to put that link in the description to download those just for those of you who are using those sprites and want to follow along. I'm actually going to go download them. Obviously the video is not up so my link is just in my email. So I'm going to click this link. It's going to download the resources and those are probably going to be in your download file. So let's start by creating a sprite and we're going to call this Sprite Cat and we're going to edit the sprite and then come up here at the top you're going to see this open and you're going to have to extract all those files from the zip just right click on them and do extract whatever um, this is what it's going to look like when you've extracted them you're going to have cat1, cat2, cat3, floppy cat, grass, mountains, pillar so we're going to open cat1 now you're going to press this, uh, this, this button right here that's next to the open button it's an add a sprite from a file so we're going to do that and we're going to open cat2 and we're going to do it one more time and we're going to open cat 3 and if you click this preview here you can see that our cat kind of animates and it looks kind of weird but don't worry once we get into the game that will look quite a bit better so now we're going to let's see we're going to we need to set the origin on this we're going to center it but then set the x to 16 cuz we want to well that actually yeah then set the x to 16 i guess that looks fine now for our bounding box, this is crucial. Flappy Bird is a really, really hard game. And we're going to make this one just slightly easier. If you want to make it harder, you can. But we're going to, the tail, you're not, we're going to make it so that if their tail hits, it's not going to lose. So in our bounding box, you're going to do manual. And you're going to do left of four. Oops, sorry, left of eight. Right of 30, I think. Top of four, that's the one that's four and bottom is going to be 20, uh, 22, yeah that looks good. So you can see that changes our collision box just around kind of the cat's fat little belly there and that's all that's going to deal with our collisions. We're going to press OK. Now we're going to create another sprite and we're going to call this one Sprite Pillar. And you'll want to load this sprite. Actually, I lied. We're not going to call it Sprite Pillar. Load the Pillar Sprite. We're going to call this Sprite Pillar Bottom because we're going to have a pillar on the bottom and a pillar on the top. So you can center this image, but then change the Y position to zero. And everything else will be the same. It's going to be transparent. Then you're going to duplicate that sprite, and we're going to call this Sprite Pillar Top. And you're going to go into the sprite, you're going to edit it, you're going to come up to transform, and you're going to click flip vertical. So this is going to be the top pillar in our game. And you're going to change the Y position to 128. Okay. Now once you've done that, we're going to, uh, let's save the game real fast. And we'll save this as Floppy Cat. And we're going to create a background, and we're going to call this Background Mountains. And you're going to load a background from a file, and inside here we've already got mountains right there, all done for you. And just press OK. This one's not transparent. Now we're going to do another background, and this one is going to be called Background Grass. You're going to load the background and pull in the grass and this one will be transparent. Make sure to click that transparent button. And out of all the sprites that I made, this one's my least favorite, so if you guys want to redo the grass, go ahead. But this looks fine. Now we're going to create an object, and we're going to call it Object Cat, and give it our cat sprite. Now we're going to give it a create event, and inside of this create event, we want to set its uh, image speed to zero. And what that does is it just keeps the sprite from animating. Now the reason we do that is because we're going to control the animation of the sprite based on um, how it's doing. Now we're going to 
create a room right here got lost there and we're gonna call it room game and inside of this room well let's see and our settings are going to be 320 by 180 and we're gonna place our cat in this room and I'm gonna place it right about here um, I don't want it to be exactly in the middle of the room because I want to give the players time to uh, anticipate when the pillar comes. So inside of this room we're also going to create a background and so uncheck draw background color check visible when room starts and select our mountain background and you can see now our cat's got that mountainish background right there and we're gonna give, uh, let's see now go to background one and we're gonna do visible when room starts foreground image and we're gonna select the grass background now it's gonna cover everything up here um, but don't worry about that and let's see we don't want this to tile uh, horizontally let's see we don't want it to tile uh, horizontally or vertically but we're gonna give it a horizontal speed of negative four so that grass will move to the left with a speed of four I'll press OK and come back into that room and it's still for some reason it's showing the white on top of it so for now later we're gonna uncheck this but for now we're gonna uncheck visible when room start uh, sorry on the background one we're gonna uncheck visible when room starts go back to background zero which is our mountains and uncheck the tiling as well but that one we do want visible when the room starts so for now, that's what we're going to leave it. Our grass is going to be ready to go, but it's not actually in there yet. And we're going to come into our object cat, and we're going to add a new event. And we're going to add mouse button. And let's do uh, let's do global mouse, global left pressed. And so this is going to be the what actually makes the cat fly, the kind of flapping side of this thing, or the flopping side and inside here we're going to create a code that does v speed equals negative five I think is what I did so what that does is it sets your v speed to negative five which is up so v speed stands for vertical speed so it's gonna make your uh, it's gonna make your cat go up every time you click okay now we also want to set a gravity so set the gravity right here and we're going to call gravity equals point uh, I'm trying to remember what I did I think I did point 0.5 so we might want to mess around with that a little bit but I'm pretty sure it was point 0.5 so let's save the game and you can actually run the game now so let's run it see what happens okay so you can see and I just clicked out of the screen so my cat's gonna fall off of foreverness but every time you click the cat moves up okay so that's great I think that my gravity was lower than 5 though <laughs> I think it might have been 0.25 let's try this one more time and see what happens Yep, that seems about right. Okay, now it, you can see that it's kind of tiny on the screen and the cat looks kind of dead there because it's not moving at all, which it's going to look dead anyways because it's going to be flopping around, but those are two things we want to fix. So the first thing we need to do is going to our, uh, let's see, go into our room and we're going to create a view. Now this is going to be a simple view because it's not actually going to move. The view is going to stay in the same spot, but to enable the use of views, visible when uh, room starts and we're gonna make the view in the room to be 320 by 180 so the exact size is our room right now the port on the screen is going to be 640 by 360 so basically what that does is it's gonna scale everything by 2 and that's all you need to do for the view so I think you might need to go into preferences and if you uh, go into graphics 
you'll want to, well, I guess it's already unchecked, but this uh, interpolate colors between pixels. For this game, we do not want that checked, so make sure this is unchecked. And your game settings are, I'm pretty sure they're right here on the on Windows Studio, or on the Studio version for Windows, but it, it's under Windows instead of Graphics. It's under the Windows tab, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be a minor difference, but just make sure that's unchecked. Now when we run the game, you'll notice that it's bigger. So you can see it easier now. Awesome. The cat still looks dead though. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come in here and we're going to do add an event, add a step event, and we're going to drag over some code. And in this code right here, we're going to do if vSpeed is less than zero for image index equals zero else if vSpeed is greater than or equal to zero and vSpeed is less than four pretty sure I use four image index equals one else if vSpeed is greater than or equal to four image index equals two. So let me explain this code to you. So our cat has three images, right, for the animation. And that's what we're changing. If the vSpeed is less than one, it means they're going up. So when the cat is actually going up, we want it to be the image zero of this animation. That's the very first one. It starts at zero. Now if, we're, if our V speed is greater than zero, that means we're going down. But if we're going down, but if it's still less than four, then it means we're going down kind of slow. Like we just started going down, we're moving kind of slow. We want the image index to equal one. Now if we're going down f uh, with a speed of four or faster, then we want the image index to equal two. So that's what that code does, and it should make our cat look more lifelike if I did it right. So let's go in and make sure that we program that right. Yeah, so that doesn't work at all. Um, it just kind of twitches and looks really weird. <laughs> it reminds me one of the one of the guys that was uh, following along with my tutorials. He. Uh, he sent me a video of one of his games trying to put in bullets and it just didn't work. But it was hilarious. It was very funny. So let's check some things here. Image speed equals zero. Let's actually set our image index here. Image index equals zero as well in the create event. And in our step event, if v speed is greater than zero. Whoa, 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 whoa. That should be less than zero. Okay, that was probably the first problem. Else if vSpeed is greater than or equal to zero and less than four, if it's greater than four, perfect. That was probably our problem right there. This should be a less than sign, not a greater than sign. So let's try that one more time. Okay, you can see now that looks really good. When you go up, he kind of flops up. Um, perfect. If you let him fall, he kind of gets into a free fall type terminal velocity. So that's all we're going to do for today. In part two, we're going to add the pillars and make them come infinitely. And so that'll be really cool. In fact, part two will we'll almost be done with the game except for the menu and the high score system. So be ready for part two tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Whoops. Make sure you uh, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe. I also put my Tumblr account in uh, the description. So if you want to follow me on Tumblr, my Tumblr account, I'm going to mostly post stuff for the games that I'm working on. So if you're interested in the games that I'm working on, on the side, then you can check those out on my Tumblr. But follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more tutorial videos, and you guys have a great day.